So the question was, have you ever been called to somewhere other than where you were born? And uh, that is very true for me. In 2012, uh, I very much heard go. And uh, all my life I had been uh, called, I guess, so to speak, to Hawaii. But no matter how hard I worked, I was never able to get there. Um, I was in Houston. I'm from Louisiana, but I was in Houston when I was called. And um, I wound up through all kinds of weird circumstances, uh, homeless. And when I drove away from the divorce table, I said if I was going to be homeless, I was going to have better scenery. And I took off. And uh, through my journeys, I wound up um, picking up a lot of trash. And uh, my journey just kept going. And uh, in 20, finally a couple of years in, I was at a uh, gathering, um, a festival, and I was working the goddess tent. And this young man came in and uh, he said that, he asked me if I wanted to go to Hawaii um, and said that God told him to take me to Hawaii. And uh, so I wound up in Hawaii the first time um, that way. So if you're called somewhere, get your ducks in a row, let go of your stuff, and possibly um, you'll get moved and chosen to go. But yet my experience is that you have to do your part first. In 2017, after Standing Rock, I was called to go to Aotearoa. I wound up, which is New Zealand, for those of you that do not know. Um, I was in Houston again and uh, quite sick and ill, and I got sent a video by Rose Petty, who is the Maori 13th grandmother, and the minute that I heard her voice and saw her face, I started bursting into tears uh, with my soul calling to go home. Um, couldn't quite get there that time, um, as I'm a renunciate and getting a hold to cash is kind of um, challenging sometimes that way. And getting a passport costs some money, and I'd never gotten a passport. So what I did was start my steps. I got my pictures, and I held on to my pictures while I traveled around <laughs> collecting the waters um, to be able to take to the Wanganui River, who I'd heard had gotten her personhood. And I dedicated my walk that whole season. Um, I left Houston in uh, the 1st of April. And I didn't touch uh, money until about October. Um, in October, I wound up out in California. And then a Maori Tohanga came to me and um, blessed me. Um, I held a circle for him out there. And he... Um, he blessed me and gave me a mission to go to Aotearoa uh, with the waters and to learn more about uh, and do initiation to be a Waiakara water master. And so at the same time, I got a job that provided me just enough money, um, trimming weed, um, to fly to Aotearoa with $100. And uh, I stayed in Aotearoa for three months. Uh, I was gifted a car while I was there. Um, and then I flew out and came back to Hawaii. Then I went back to the mainland. Then I went back to Aotearoa. And currently I'm back in Maui. So if you are called somewhere, um, get your stuff in a row to be able to go is my suggestion. Um, and uh, do some acts of service to, uh, to participate now uh, would be my suggestion. It's worked for me, and I know it works for other water carriers um, because the waters and the land need us in certain places sometimes. And um, when we're already doing the work, um, they provide for us. So uh, that's my story on how to follow your calling or um, my experience with being called. So that is here in Hawaii in front of these beautiful traveler palms and they say that if you are in front of the traveler's palms and you make a wish that um, they will come true it will come true 
So I'll make a wish for all of us to uh, hear our callings and um, to begin uh, our service work. Um, I sing a song, and that is, um, I sing for the waters, and I sing for the trees, sing for the animals, I sing for the bees. Oh, Mother Mystery, to me, to your frequency. Oh, Mother Mystery, take me where I need to be. I walk for the rivers, and I walk for the springs, walk for the lakes, and I walk for the seas. Oh, Mother Mystery, to me, to your frequency. Oh, Mother Mystery, take me where I need to be. Oh. It's not so much about where I want to be. It's where I may be of service. And um, that has provided for me um, in ways that me working to try to get myself there never did. So peace, love, and aloha from Maui, the heart chakra.